Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today, obviously from the title below, you'll see that it's going to be a video about routines. So I thought I'd make a page in my planner for morning and evening routines. I've wanted to do this for a while. Sometimes I'll write them out like during the weeks, but um, I just decided that I needed like a page. So Allie, my daughter, she is a teacher and she has a laminator. So I am going to use her laminator to, I've never used a laminator before, so she's gonna teach me how to do it. Maybe she'll come on here, I don't know. And um, I'm gonna laminate this and then use wet erase markers to check things off every day. I used to do this a long time ago and I kind of got out of the habit and it's really good to set good habits for yourself. And there's some things I'm just not doing that I really need to get back to. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to cut off these holes. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I laminate it, I'm gonna repunch it and I wanna make sure that um, like I don't punch, like I punch it right in the holes and it's really hard to make sure of that, especially when you have a little bit of the plastic um, around the, the page from the laminator. So I just wanna cut this off first. So I need my paper trimmer and, and then we'll decorate after that. Make sure it's straight. Okay, so the page is going to be a little, that's a little crooked, but the page is going to be a little smaller than my planner, but I'm okay with that because actually I'm probably going to put this in my big planner and this is a classic size page anyway because I just didn't think I would need um, the big paper for this. So what I thought I would do, first thing, I'm going to do like a black and colorful spread here and so I'm going to put this right under this holographic area here just to kind of separate that and make it pop a little bit I don't know I think I think this is Happy Planner brand washi but I'm not sure um, where I got it Hold on, let me get this dog for you guys. Come here, you wanna say hello? She's crying because Allie's outside mowing the lawn and she cannot be there, so she's sad because she loves being outside. So I know you guys don't see her very often, but here she is. She's getting a haircut tomorrow. She hasn't had one in like two months. This is the longest I think she's ever gone. So she looks like a sheepdog right now. <laughs> so, I mean, look, look at her hair. Look how long it is now. I don't know if you can see, but I can't wait for her to get it cut. All right, you can sit in my lap, baby. You can sit in my lap. Okay. So the next thing I thought I would do before I create the routines is use these beautiful florals from the farmhouse sticker book i bought two of these books so i do have some of these i've used them already in the other book but i have some here and like they're so gorgeous that i can't resist i've been wanting to use them again so i'm kind of gonna i think i'll just put them like along the sides of the page and then let me see how many i have i don't have a lot so I might, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this because this is really big and the other ones are kind of small. I didn't really think of that. I guess down the middle. I know, Bumble, I know you don't like sitting in my lap. It's boring, isn't it? Is it boring? Just cut that like that. I'll place one on this side. And then I'll, I'll put one up here. So it's like kind of different. Ah, 
that's not good. I guess I did not cut it straight. Take it off the page a little bit. Okay, so let's, well, let's just keep going and then we'll cut that at the end. All right, that's pretty. So now for the part that is important, the routines. Um, I thought about doing a washi box, but I'm not sure. Maybe up here I wanna put routines. So, so let's get an alphabet sticker book. How about fun alphabets? And we will put those cursive letters up there. These guys. So let me get a ruler so I can center this. And I'll just do routines like so. Okay, so I'm going to, I was gonna use letter stickers for morning and evening, but I think I'm just gonna write them. So let me get um, a Tombow dual brush pen, cause I really like this pen. It's very bold and bright, not bright. <laughs> it's just, it's a good thickness for me for like doing headers and stuff. So I was gonna center it, but now I'm, I'm noticing this is not really centered so well. So I'm gonna purposely not center it. So here I'm just going to write morning. Okay, um, not perfect. The G is obviously smaller <clears throat> than the rest of it, but whatever. Now I'm just going to write my morning routine. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I have less in the evening, so that will work. So, what I think I will do is line up the boxes. So, I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to draw boxes like that. It's not going to be perfect. Oh, I know what I can do. I can use the Happy Planner checklist stencil. Um, if I can find the one with the squares and that's what I'll do, but now I'm going to have to wipe that out because it is a lot bigger. Well, maybe not. Let's try it and see, and then we can always wipe that one out and do another one if need be. So I'm going to go ahead and do 10 squares. Okay, not perfect, but you know, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna grab this jelly roll pen here because I messed up a little bit. You can see that little dot. We're just gonna color that so you don't see it. And I think I will fix that um, just because that bugs me a little bit. And when I write on this, I'm gonna be writing on the laminated paper. So it's not like, it's not gonna be like annoying. Uh, writing on whiteout because I'm not going to be writing on the whiteout. So let me just put a new one in here. Okay. So these are in no particular order, but um, in the mornings I have to clean my retainer, which I always do, but um, I'm putting this down because some days I use like the retainer like cleaner the tablets and I don't do that every day but I want to remember to do that like at least a few times a week um yeah 
after I got Invisalign last year and it really, really, um, is really, really important to wear my retainer because I don't want my teeth to move again because I don't want to go through that again. And it was like $4,600 and I don't want to pay for it again either. So I, since I paid that much and I went through that, I want to keep my teeth straight. So I'm really like careful about wearing it every single night and I'm used to it now. Like at first it was a pain, but it's not a big deal now. Okay. Now I'm going to write skincare routine because a lot of mornings I just forget and I want to make sure I do all of my steps. If you haven't seen my skincare routine, you can check that out. There's a video. Um, I'll try to remember to link it in here, but it's like, I'm not great at it. I'm trying. I haven't been consistent enough and I want to get back into it. So, okay. Empty the dishwasher. This is a big deal with me because I don't empty it in the mornings and and then the clean dishes sit in there all day and then I pile up dishes in the sink and then at the end of the day um, after dinner I have to empty it and fill it but like I need to empty it in the morning so that my kitchen's clean all day and I don't do it so that's something I really want to remember to do okay load of laundry I've been like back and forth about this trying to decide if I should do a load of laundry every day or if I should just um, do them at the end of the week. So I'm going to try doing it every day. I think like I keep going back and forth. So we'll see. I'm putting it down here in case this is what I want to do. I also have thought about doing it like one day a week. So I'm kind of on the fence about all that, but I'm putting it down. Okay. Take vitamins. Always forget. Allie has these really good vitamin gummies that taste so good. So I've been taking those. It's good on Weight Watchers because I can't have anything. I can have sweet things, but they're like a little treat almost. They're so good. I don't count the points because they're vitamins. Um, okay, drink water because I drink cough. That's a weird D. I drink coffee in the morning but I'm not drinking enough water and then I feel pretty dehydrated come lunchtime. So I got to remember to drink a glass of water. Um, check email. Okay. So I'm going to start working out in the mornings. I've been working out in the afternoons or evenings, and I really want to try to get into the habit of doing it in the early morning. So I'm going to put here walk bumble because I'm trying to get in the habit of doing that in the mornings as well. This is really ambitious, but if I take like an hour and a half in the morning or even just an hour, an hour will probably be enough and just do all of this. Like it's not going to take that long. Like empty the dishwasher it literally takes like three minutes, but I put it off. Um, I want to walk Bumble at least like up and down the street just to get her outside, get me outside in the fresh air because I haven't been getting enough fresh air. And then I want to work out in the mornings. Um, and then after my workout, I want to shower and get dressed because I typically stay in my pajamas all day, a lot of days. And while it's comfy, it's not, it's honestly not the best. Like I'm not as productive if I'm in my pajamas. So my goal is to do all this shower and get dressed and be ready for my day by say like, I want to say nine, but like 930. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. So it's a challenge for me. I know like a lot of people, this stuff comes naturally, but for me, it doesn't. It never has. Okay. So since I wrote morning here, I don't think I want to put it. I think I want to put evening like this way, but it's a little more challenging because I have to make sure it fits to make sure like how to start it. So I'm just going to test it here. I think I can start right about here, but 
let me see. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight for nighttime. So if I do it there and then skip a space, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of want it to take me down to the bottom. So I think do it here. So instead of starting here, I want to start here. Okay. If this was dot grid, it would be easier to be like perfect. I'm going to get this and just clean up that area there on the E. That's better. Okay. So evening. I'm going to do the same thing. I think I might, and I know it's weird that it's over here, but to me it like, kind of balances it out. I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake there. But now I'm going to, I think, start these over a little bit. I don't know. What should I do? All right. If I start the squares here, then like what's here? I mean, do I put another flower there? I don't know. I feel like that's better if I start the squares over rather than like here, cause that would be weird. So let's just do it. And then I will reassess the situation with like this area here. Maybe put a quote there or something. Okay, let me, let me do this. Okay, I obviously wasn't as careful there cause it's slightly skewed. Do you see how it's like, it's going this way a little bit. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so evening we have, oh, and this, by the way, is Pentel Energel 0.5, if you're wondering what pen I'm using. They're always linked in the description box, so is a Tombow. Um, you can go to my Amazon shop to see, like, all my favorite pens and stuff. Okay, skincare. And I have lists of, like, like I said, lists of my skincare, so I know what I'm doing. I should have put that, these aren't in order, but I should have put that like towards the bottom. Fifteen minute cleanup. Because I just want to make sure that I wake up to like a straightened up house because I hate going to bed when there's clutter around and it's messy. I'm like like after I plan and everything, sometimes I don't clean it up right away. Like I just want to wake up and have like a clean desk have a clean kitchen and be able to like start my day off right because it's depressing waking up and having stuff all over the place. So that's my goal. Okay, run the dishwasher. Set the coffee maker because it would be really nice to wake up and have my coffee ready for me, right? That is always something I want to do and never do it. Okay, um, put laundry away because it piles up and I want to make sure it's away. Again, getting rid of clutter. Plan out tomorrow. Check my schedule, see what I've got going on and just get ready for the day unplug because I stay on my phone way too late. Lots of times I'm on the phone in my bed at night. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be reading or just relaxing and not on my phone because I'm on my phone way too much. And I really want to try to get away from that late at night at least. Okay. And last thing I want to do is I want to meditate and reflect. I think it's really important and I don't do it enough. Um, and I really want to get into that practice. I want to meditate for like 10 minutes and I want to kind of reflect on my day. Um, I want to think about what was good about it. I want to think about what I could do better the next day, um, just to improve myself as I go. And, um, also, you know, give myself grace. If it wasn't the best day in the world, let that go. And, 
um, hopefully it will help with my stress level. So I think that's really important. Okay, so now that I, I'm looking at it, the evening is kind of wonky too, but that's fine. So now that I did that, I, I do have this space and I need to fill it up with something. So let's look at the flowers again. I don't know that I'm gonna wanna put a flower there, but let's check it out um, in the farmhouse book. Like, I feel like that that's not the right one, whatever, but. I think I'd rather put like a little cute motivational quote there or something. So what book do I want to go in for that? I want it to be something calming and cute and something that makes me happy. Like this makes me happy so far. So I want to keep that going, but I'm not really I finding gonna anything gonna in here. Match. Oh, those flowers are from that book? Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. Like I said, like they don't match that really book. Nice handwriting. Thanks. Like Thanks, I need some. You need like, maybe do like. Like a quote. Oh, quote. I was gonna say too, if you have something like, uh, like that girl with the cucumbers in her eyes, I know you've already used her, but. Oh yeah, that's true, but it's like not big enough. So I need like, I don't know if we're gonna find anything in these. I think I'm probably like a black quote, you know, I think. Also a side note, I have a, uh, an idea for another video. Don't let me forget. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Suspense. And it involves Bumble. <gasps> They'll love that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I will. <laughs> no, well, y'all, I won't spill, but. Don't spill the beans. Who knows, the way I'm filming, they might have seen that video that you just talked about already. What video? Oh, <laughs> what comes first? It's like, it's like a weird time travel movie. Yeah. So if you already saw it. <laughs> I could put a couple of these in, but I don't have enough. Oh, wait, I have another Thank Gold you. Star Quotes book. Gold Star Quotes here now. Maybe I have more of those. And then I could put like two of those in there. That would be cute. And motivational, look. Okay, let's do that. Um... I think new day, same goal. Believe in you, mind over matter. Never stop ewing. <laughs> I think that one's dumb. <laughs> I guess I like that one, new day, same goal. I mean, that makes sense because it mm -hmm. is, it's a new day, same goal. Wait, before you put down, you probably don't want to, but what if you put like, mm, never mind, ignore me. Today's goals are crushed. Mind over okay. matter, probably, right? As long as you're okay with both of them being over, you know what I'm saying? Division sign. What? Like, oh, oh. You know, they're both like over something. Not I don't matters. think that bothers me. No, me neither. Believe in you. Believe in you. Oh, that's cute if you stack them. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. A little less rotated. Isn't that really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she gorgeous. You think? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I don't like it. I thought I did, but now that it's on there, I don't like it. I need like, I need like a, a quote that goes. Yeah. Although I kind of, I kind of do like this one down here. That like, what if I overlap this on like the flowers? I'm gonna hold this open just in case. Um, let's keep looking in here. I need like a, a peaceful one, maybe like the farmhouse sticker book or something. Mm -hmm. Do you have that one over there? I mean the modern farmhouse. It's back here. I organized them so I know where everything is now. Everything. Um, right. let me pause this so I don't bore you guys and I'll be right back with the sticker. All right, so Allie found this Make Today Count sticker. It was in the Botanical sticker book. So I think this is more appropriate. 
it's kind of just feels better to me. Right? Did I do that crooked? Yeah. It's just there's, the words are slanted. Maybe it needs to go up a little. I think they're meant to be slanted. Yeah. I don't think it looks good that way. Make like count even on the line. Yeah. Now it's like right across from that. Oh, now you need a higher, higher or lower, right? I don't know. What if I did that? Yeah. And then maybe added another flower here or something? Yeah, that's the thing is I, I like the flowers, but you need to do something so it's not just like that. Um... much. I feel like this is going to be a very long video. If it is, I apologize. And I'm going to have to stop soon because I'm starving. I am literally starving. Not literally, obviously. That's dumb, but I'm really hungry. Maybe I just leave it like that. I put this one there no all right I think I'm gonna leave it like this I think I feel better doing that okay so Allie is gonna get her laminator but it's at her dad's house so I'm gonna come back this afternoon and laminate it for you guys and show you how to do that so I'll be back Okay, I'm back and this is Allie's laminator. I will put links to everything in the description box so that you have that and it's an affiliate link. So if you wouldn't mind using my link, if you're gonna purchase, I would appreciate it. Um, so like I said, she's a teacher. So she has this for all her teachy stuff and we are going to, well, she's going to show me how to use it because I've never used a laminator like this. So she'll show you guys and me at the same time. All right, so first off, like she said, Sorry. <laughs> okay. 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 Whatever. Anyways. Yeah, this is a laminator. Um, I just got it. This is my first time actually using this one. I've used a different type. So what you're going to need are um, lamination pouches, which she'll link below. And these are what I at least use for the laminating. So this laminator actually came with two sheets already before I even purchased the other things. So first off, this is what the sheet looks like. One end opens up and the other doesn't. So I can, so it opens like this, but stays in one. So when it's time, you're gonna put your paper in here and close it. But first I wanna show you the laminator itself. <clears throat> so you have to plug it in and there's a button for three mil and a five mil. Three mil is for regular old paper, you know, nothing too special. But five mil is gonna be for cardstock, um, photo paper, business cards, anything a little more thick. I guess it just does a little more heat. And when you turn it on, this ready button is not going to be blue. It's just going to be plain old white or whatever. And when it's blue, you know it's ready and it's heated up. It probably takes about five minutes. So first, I'm going to move this guy. And it gets a little hot, but not too bad. And it does have a little bit of a smell, but I think that's just like the heat burning or something. So first, I'm going to open up my pouch. And actually, Mom, can you grab the other pouch? Sorry, I, I was testing it out, so there's a bunch of cat hair in this. Thanks. So you have a new pouch. You open it up. And then you can fit as many things as you can fit on here, but this sheet can, is pretty much only gonna fit. And you can put it anywhere. I recommend putting it all the way to the top and kind of like shoving it up there because that's gonna have that nice seal. And you just stick it down. And it's a little crooked, but that's fine because we can cut it out at the end. So once that's down, we have our laminator. And here it says, insert sealed end of pouch. So this part is gonna go in first. Actually, can you make sure it's not crooked? Cause when I put it in my paper trimmer, I need to make sure it's like straight or it's gonna be hard to Oh, oh, so you're gonna, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. It's not I could me. cut it with the scissors, but yeah, yeah. it might no, be it's easier smart. to cut it with the trimmer. Yeah, we used trimmers when I did it too. Oh, look, there's a cat hair in it. Oh, that's on the outside. Does that look more even? 
I don't know. Yeah, it's good enough. Mm -hmm. I gotta make sure the cat hairs on the inside. Okay. So now when you stick it in, it's kind of automatic. So you stick it in and it's doing it all on its own. And sometimes what could happen is it could start leaning one way or the other, which is fine. But if it starts to crinkle or anything, this release button, you hold it and you can pull it backwards, like back out. And as you can see on this end, it's coming out, which I don't even have to hold it, but I like kind of holding it flat just in case. And then after this comes out, I recommend letting it sit for, you know, 20 seconds or something just because it is still hot. So you don't want to bend it or warp it in any sense. Look how fresh and clean. That looks good. So stick it through. It is kind of slow. So if you have a lot of things, it can get kind of annoying, but. And I ordered those wet erase markers I talked about, and I'll link those down there too. Um, Heather Kell recommends them, so I'm sure they're totally good. They're Stadler brand. And I can't wait to use this because I've been wanting something like this for a while. So I can't wait to get those pens and use it. I could use dry erase markers on here, but I have a feeling it would like smear really easily, mm -hmm. which I don't want, so. Yeah, and I've used dry erase markers on laminate paper and that I mean yeah anything works but your markers would probably be better so it won't smear as easy yeah okay ready to trim it yeah do you want to trim it or do you want me to trim it um, I'll do it and when you trim you want to make sure you leave kind of a little bit on the outside not completely on the paper because I don't know if you can see it but next to the paper there's just like a little bit of a gap and that's just because you know they're trying to get it airtight so you wanna leave some lamination on the outside so that it doesn't split and open up. So I don't know, like, like right there. quarter inch, half an inch. Yeah. Is that good? I think so. We'll see. And it's super easy to cut. It's very, it's thin. So you can probably yeah. even go closer. I could want, get but closer. I like that medium, it's fun. Okay. And we'll do the bottom and then we are going to punch it. And I'm pretty sure the Happy Planner Punch works really well with the, uh, I made it a little big, but that's okay. It's like um, classic size and it's going in my big planner. So like, I don't really care if there's a little bit of this around the edges because um, it's not going to go outside my planner, you know what I mean? Because my planner is so big. So I'm just going to put it in here and we'll see how easily it punches through, hopefully. A little force needs to be applied. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go, look. Perfect. So. Oh, it just got a little bit at the top, that's why we stuck. That's because this is that. Oh, I side, see. You know what I mean? Oh, it punched a little bit up there, so be careful about that, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it's can already. Can you stick it in a book, see how it sticks Yeah. In? So yeah, if you want to laminate something, it's seriously so quick and so easy. And this is so portable too. Not, I don't know if you'd ever need to bring it anywhere, but it's very portable. So I really enjoy it. And it comes in a box with a handle as well. So stick it in anywhere. Yeah, right there. All right. So it just pops right in. Pop, pop, pop. And, boom. and it's all ready for me to write in. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I think it's going to be really helpful for me. So let me know in the comments down below if you use morning and evening routines and how you do it. Do you have a laminated sheet? Do you have, do you write it every week in your planner? Uh, I'd like to know and um, stay tuned for doodle of the day. Thanks, Allie. Bye. Bye.